now been almost three weeks since Governor Brown signed her stay home, save lives order. And KZI 9 News reporter Michael Severn is live from a park in Eugene to show us why experts say we can't let our guard down now. Michael? Matt, Renee, here at Skinner Butte Park, there's a lot of people out riding their bikes, running and just walking and also just enjoying the sun. But Lane County Public Health say we need to all stay vigilant, especially over the weekends. Lane County Public Health, along with city leaders, are urging the public to continue keeping their distance. They say this weekend will be critical. We have not reached the peak number of cases yet. Leaders say everyone needs to do their part to keep that number low. They say if you need to go outside for exercise or to walk the dog, do it near your home. They don't want to see parks get too busy. Bob Hollander tells me he lives near Pleasant Hill, but came to Skinner Butte Park to walk with some friends. People that I know that like the kind of activity that I do, are in Eugene, and so we picked the park that was kind of midway for both of us. Both mayors of Eugene and Springfield say they won't be handing out tickets for people who violate social distancing rules just yet. Right now, they are just urging the public to follow the rules while educating them about their proper protocols. And to give you some perspective on the number of positive cases of COVID-19 in Lane County, Public Health spokesperson Jason Davis says Lane County is home to around 11% of the state's population. And right now, we've seen about 2.5% of the state's total confirmed cases. He says that number is low thanks to social distancing. Reporting live in Eugene, I'm Michael Severin, KEZI 9 News.